Well, good morning, guys. Um, I'm going to start doing videos again. Uh, a lot of people have been asking where my videos are and when they're coming, so they're going to start coming more often now. I can promise you that. A um, couple of things. I'm going to start doing some videos that um, I think will help not only people that watch and follow me, but uh, help other friends out there that are trying to show people we can do this. Um, every couple of days I'm going to try to take a couple moves from P90X uh, and Insanity or Insanity, depending on my time schedule. Um, but I'm going to take a couple of moves that are, you know, people see the moves and they're like, oh, I can't do that, I could never do that. And, you know, we always say modify. Well, I'm going to show you how I modified the moves and some moves I still have to modify. Um, so maybe I can start showing people that, you know, people say, oh, P90X, I could never do that. Well, I'm going to show you that you can do it. Because if I can do it, you can do it. I mean, I was 320 pounds 11 months ago, 10 months ago, whatever it is now. I've lost track. Um, you know, I still struggle today. And that's the, that's one of the things I want to talk about right now is um, you're still going to struggle no matter what. Your old habits never die. They, they just, you know, you get better at getting away from them. But they're still going to creep in. Everybody has an off day. Everybody has an off week. Uh, it's, it just happens, you know. Um, for example, I, I'm going to come right out and say it just because this is me. I'm, I'm just being real with you guys. Um, <clears throat> you know, I did a half marathon eight days ago now, a week from yesterday. And, um, you know, I was, I was feeling great. I was doing real good. And I was only going to take two or three days off and then get back to working out and try to finish my round of insanity. I got lazy for six days. Um, you know, I took two days off. The third day, I was like, okay, I'm going to get back in it. Life gets in the way. It happens. Um, but then I ended up taking a full six days off before I got back in insanity yesterday. And I'm trying to finish the round before my next half, which is coming up in just three weeks. Um, I gained six pounds during my six days off. Yeah, six pounds. Um, you know, a lot of that's water weight, but a lot of it's not. Probably true two, maybe three pounds of water weight, and the other three or four pounds, you know, just eating, eating like crap. And, and it happens. You, you get into your old ways, or you get distracted by life in general, and then you fall off. But the important thing is you get back on. You know, that's the thing that I've, that I've learned so much in this journey this year so far, is that, you know, I, I'm just like, you know, Joe Schmo. You know, every January, oh, it's a new year, I'm going to get on that bandwagon, I'm going to get fit, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to make, you know, all these changes. By March, April, most of those people aren't there anymore. Gyms are just packed out in January, and, and it's crowded. And by March, April, their numbers drop, because people give up too soon. They give up before they should. They don't they don't push past, past the mental barriers. They don't push, you know, down those walls that stop them every time. They get it stuck in their head. It's in, it's in here. You get stuck in here that I can't do that. You know, Tony says, don't say I can't. Say I presently struggle with. That's the mindset you have to have. And that's the mindset that I finally got this year that I've never had before. You know, I'm doing things I've never, ever done and never thought I could do. You know, I, ran a, I did a half marathon last weekend. There's no way I ever thought I would do that. Um, you know, I'm already working, you know, three weeks away from my second half marathon. You know, I'm going to I'm gonna be over 60 pounds lost, maybe 70, who knows, depends on, you know, how I do with my eating. Um, and two half marathons. Since January, where I was big, I mean, you people have seen my pictures. If you haven't, you know, friend me on Facebook. I have a like page on Facebook as well. You know, find me on there. Um, <clears throat> you know, if you need help, I'm here to help you and show you that you can do it. So that's what we're going to start doing with these videos. Um, going to give you my little tips along the way and, and tell you what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to really focus on my clean eating as well now. Um, well, I, again, not just like I'm just starting it. <laughs> um, but that's, you know, that's, that's my encouragement to you, to everybody out there is stick to a plan. And speaking of sticking to a plan, you have to plan this out 30, 60, 90 days in advance. You need to have your plan set out of where you're going. You can't just wake up the next day and say, oh, I'm going to do this. Because you probably won't. 
there's some people, you know, I give them, they can live day to day and, and they'll do it and they've been doing it. So it's still, you know, it's their whole workflow. It's, it's what they go through. So they know that they're going to do that. But not, not me. I, I've got to have a plan. You know, I'm going to do a round of insanity. I'm going to do a round of P90X. You know, the next thing I might do is probably a P90X hybrid after this round. Because I'm loving the Insanity workouts, but I miss my, you know, P90X weight workouts. And I miss plyometrics. As some people would say, they don't miss plyometrics, but I do. So, you know, as I get closer to finishing Insanity, I'm going to start in the, during this week. And I'm going to put together my next 90 days of working out. And it's going to be a P90X Insanity hybrid. And because I've got to have that structure. I've got to know what I'm going to do. Um, if I had my spiral over here, I'd show you. I have all the Insanity workouts written down on paper. So I know what I'm doing that day and what workout I'm doing that day. Um, <clears throat> something, you know, I probably need to start doing with my meals. Probably the same thing. That would probably help me. So there's a tip for you and a tip for me, you know. I'm telling you to write down your workouts. Well, now I'm saying write down your food. That's what I'm going to start doing because it's going to make me and it's going to make you hold yourself more accountable because you're going to go, oh, that's what I was supposed to do. That's what I was supposed to eat. Because then if you don't do it and you got to go back to your paper to make a check mark and you're like, oh, I didn't do that. Then it starts getting in here and that's what you want. You want when you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing, you want to get in here because then your brain and your mind and your mental states start going crap, I'm not on track. I, I got to get back on track. You know, I'm not doing what I said I was going to do, you know, and, and, you know, I post on Twitter, I post on Facebook and I post on some other message boards be, and, and I get other people to try to post in those message boards as well. Cause I want to show people that I'm doing what I said I was going to do. And I want them to post too what they were going to do. You know, I threw down the hundred day, hundred pushups a day challenge. I've been doing them a lot of people are doing them. You got to keep doing them. You know, there's other people throwing challenges out there. Let's all get on Facebook in this one group and do 90 days of P90X or 63 days of insanity. You know, whatever. So that's the plan. Write it down, write it down, write it down, and stick to it. So if you have any other questions, please friend me on Facebook. Click on my like page, send me a message, and let's do this. Have a good day.